Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the fifth uh, video in the How to Be a Twitch Creative Broadcaster tutorial series. Uh, my name is Todd Custom and I was helping people with how to get their stream ready to go live. Um, so in this video we're going to be talking about how to start broadcasting. So we've got our overlay, we've got all our interactive graphics, we've got cameras set up, um, hotkeys are in place, and we've got everything ready, we just need to know how to optimize your stream to look good and to, to get ready to broadcast. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna click on the settings button at the bottom here and we're gonna pull up our um, overall settings for all of OBS. Um, so I don't do anything with the general, but I'm gonna go to the stream settings and you need to make sure it says streaming services on Twitch uh, pick the server closest to you. If you're outside of the US, make sure you're picking the appropriate server. Um, and then you need your stream key. So to get your stream key, you are going to go to uh, your Twitch dashboard. So go to twitch.tv slash your channel name slash dashboard. Uh, and then you're gonna click on settings here on the left. And the first thing you'll see says stream key. So you click stream key and you're gonna hit show key and it tells you never share your key with anyone so then you click I understand and you will copy this entire link right here and then you're gonna go back to OBS and you're going to paste it right there and then hit apply um, now your OBS has your channel locked in so that when you hit start streaming, it will start broadcasting directly to your channel and people will be able to see you and chat with you. Um, but before we do that, I wanna make sure that we set up the rest of our settings so that everything looks and sounds good. Um, so we're gonna move on to output and I keep it on simple and uh, the video bitrate Twitch recommends a maximum of 3,500 for your uh, video bitrate. Uh, you can go higher, but you don't really need to. 3,500 is quite high, and it will produce a very high quality image for people to see. Um, but if your upload speed is slower or you have poor internet, you can definitely go down to 2,000 or 1,000 if you need to. Um, but definitely check with your upload speed. You can go to um, a few different websites to check your internet speed and definitely put this according to that. Um, for the encoder, I use a hardware encoder because I have a good video card. If you're using a laptop or an older computer, you can use software for that. Um, and then the audio bitrate I leave right there. Uh, recording down here is just for recording local videos to your computer. So we're just gonna be talking about the stream settings up here. Um, and then moving on to audio, um, there's only two things you need to look for here. The desktop audio device, I have mine set to default or you can put it to speakers. Um, whatever sound your computer makes, it will output that sound to your stream. So if you wanna have music playing, uh, all you have to do is just play music on your computer as you normally would um, and your viewers will be able to hear it. Um, or if you have any other you know, sounds or beeps or graphics you want people to hear, that's where they're gonna hear that from, is where it says desktop audio device. And the second thing you need to look for is your microphone. Uh, so the first one that says mic auxiliary audio device, I have this uh, set to my primary microphone, which is the Zoom H2N that you're hearing right now. Um, so I've got my audio settings taken care of, then you would hit apply. And then the last thing you need to do is just go to video. Um, so definitely always keep your base canvas resolution at 1920 by 1080, which is the standard widescreen 1080 resolution. Um, and the output is the scaled resolution. So this is what people see. Um, so if you have a good computer that can handle it, definitely keep it at the same resolution. But if you're noticing it lagging or things are kind of getting stuttery or you're dropping frames, you can drop this down to 1280 by 720 or even lower if you need to. But if you can handle it, definitely keep the highest resolution. Um, I don't modify the downscale filter. Um, I keep it at fastest because frame rate is important. And then I'd never go any higher than 30 frames per second. You only need to do more if you're doing some intense gaming or anything like that. Um, so that is all set. And then I just hit okay, make sure all the settings save. 
and you are right now ready to go live. Um, but before you do, uh, it's a good idea to update your stream title and make sure you've got uh, your Twitch chat ready. Um, so let's get our stream title changed and make sure we've got chat on screen. All right, so um, to update our stream title, I am gonna grab my Twitch dashboard right here, which was twitch.tv slash your channel name slash dashboard. And uh, you're gonna find on the left where it says stream information, you're gonna wanna update this to whatever you want the title to be. So say it's, you know, Funky Friday or something like that, and you're, you know, sewing like crazy. Um, and the go, no go live notification is what people will see in their emails if they have uh, email notifications. So you can say, you know, I'm making a custom shirt or something like that. Um, so the next thing is your gamer category. Most people stream in creative or in IRL. I always stream in creative. And then you add your communities here. Um, so when you click update information, it's gonna update your stream title so that when you go live, um, people will see the appropriate title. And after that, you just need to make sure that you've got uh, your on-screen chat so that you can see what people are saying. So if you go to your chat bar on the right side and click on the little gear, you're gonna find the thing that says pop out. And I'm gonna pop my chat out right here. And it's going to give me just a little rectangle where chat's going to show up. And I'm going to stretch this up and do control plus to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to move my OBS over just a little bit. So now I've got chat on the left and I can see OBS on the right. This way I can look at chat and see what everyone's saying. And I can also look at my OBS to make sure that everything looks good and I'm on the right scene. Um, so if anyone starts chatting in here, it will show up just like that, which looks good. Um, at this point, I am ready to go live. I've got my um, all my audio settings, all my video settings are set up. Um, I've got chat on the left, my title is updated, uh, all my notifications are good, so now I can hit start streaming and people will be able to start seeing me and chatting and then I can do whatever my craft is or listening to music or whatever. A um, couple other things you need to look out for before I finish is say I wanted to listen to some music, um, I'd open... I use Spotify now on stream, um, so here's my Spotify, and I would go to, you know, something that I would play. Um, now, if you use Spotify or Pandora or iTunes or whatever, uh, if you keep this at full volume, it's going to blow everyone's ears out on stream. So I usually keep this about a third of the way up. And then I keep my um, desktop audio at full volume. So definitely ask your viewers, is the music too loud? Is it too quiet? And then keep those settings the same. Or you can record a test recording by clicking start recording here. It'll save a local file so you can kind of do a little test and make sure everything looks and sounds good. And the last thing you need to know is if you uh, click on advanced audio properties here, um, you're going to see all these different sliders for all your different audio sources. And there's something that says sync offset. If people tell you that your mouth doesn't match up with the audio, this is what you need to look at. So you go to um, your microphone, and I usually have to sync my offset to about 40 milliseconds up, and it goes positive and negative. So if for whatever reason people say your audio isn't synced up with your video, this is where you change that. Um, but usually doing a lot of testing it take it can take a while but i found 40 milliseconds for this particular computer gives me good results um so now definitely make sure you're playing music before you start streaming and then just hit start streaming and people will start showing up in chat and then you just do what you do so enjoy showing off your craft and your artistic expression with the world. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions or anything I can help you with. But thank all of you so much for all of your positive responses to all these videos. I will continue to make more videos. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is on 
how to make uh, the panel uh, the panels below your video feed so if you want a donate button or a subscribe button or a link to your website or social media or your discord server um, we're going to show you how to make your own graphics using paint.net uh, to make those and how to upload those so people can see them um, so that's going to be the next video thank you guys so much for watching all these videos i appreciate all of the positive responses um, but i will see you guys on the next video thank you so much